Hi, writers. I want to congratulate you on a job well done so far as your own job captain. You guys are doing a great job thinking about all of the things that good writers do. So today, my tip for you is that when we're getting ready to draft or if we're in the process of drafting our personal narrative, writers really try to get lost in the story. Um, they try to relive that event and they really try to re-experience that time that they have experienced and gone through themselves. So you already know that before writers start to storytell, um, they make a mental movie in their minds. But now I'm going to tell you that they don't just watch the movie. They're a part of it. Whenever I write a personal narrative, I like to relive my own experiences. I act as if I'm living in that moment. So I'm going to choose a story um, that I have started writing here with some of my students in my classroom about the very first time I rode a roller coaster. So I'm sure that most of you won't remember um, the the amusement park Jog Lake that was here right here in Aurora, Ohio, but I'm sure that many of the other teachers um, or even your parents have some really fond memories of Jog Lake. So I'm going to share a story with you about my very first time riding the double loop. Um, I am not much of a roller coaster rider, so this was a really big deal for me when I actually worked up the courage to get onto a roller coaster for the first time. So watch me as I really try to re-experience um, exactly what I was doing, what I was saying, what I heard um, during that time where I was getting ready to jump on a roller coaster for the first time. So here I go. Whoosh. I heard the sound of the roller coaster cart coming to the tunnel. All of the riders were clapping and cheering. One young rider yelled, let's go again. The butterflies in my stomach started to flutter. Maybe I should just hop over the seat, I thought. So riders, think for a moment. What did you notice about what I did as I was retelling you my story before I was getting ready to continue to draft it? So did you see how much stronger my story was? Did you see how I was kind of inside the memory and I was really reliving it again? I'm not just giving you the information what happened. I'm not reporting it. I'm really trying to think about how I was feeling, about what I was seeing, even the sounds that I've heard. So we're going to go ahead and practice this together. So I want you to open up your writer's notebook and take a look at the draft that you're working on right now. I'll give you a minute to open it up. Okay, now find the spot where you just left off. Or if you think that you finished and you've kind of written a whole flash draft, find one spot that you think we might need to go back and do a little bit of work on. So find that spot now. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to really picture that spot in your mind. Really try to experience what exactly was happening as you were doing whatever it is that you were doing. Remember, don't just watch the movie. Try to listen to the sounds. Try to think about what other people were saying around you. All right, writers, that was just a little bit of practice. So what you're going to do now is you are going to then just write as much as you can about the part of your personal narrative that you just tried to re-experience. And if you feel like you're getting stuck or you feel like you need to go back and revise another portion um, of your personal narrative, you can always go back and really try to play that mental movie in your mind again. But don't just play it. Try to relive it. And remember, along the way, use some of your anchor charts. If you're getting stuck, remember your charts are here to help you out, as well as that guide that we have been going through, um, your monitoring my process guide. So continue to use that as a way to help you track the work that you're doing in your writer's notebook and on this personal narrative. So here's your work plan for today. Um, don't forget, use your charts and all your strategies. We just have two more days, and it might not necessarily be days of the week, but two more sessions of Writer's Workshop um, for you to work on this personal narrative. So do your best, 
have fun and we can't wait to hear it.